Hello, I'm Pal Howie. Welcome to my bathroom. I've tidied up just for you. So those of you who know me know that I have been exploring spas for about 13 years now and I have been and done some of the world's best spa experiences, the world's wackiest, weirdest and most wonderful. But my wings have kind of been clipped through Covid and even before that I, I had kind of gone back to doing very simple things. And uh, when I was traveling around, very often, I was just traveling really with a bar of soap because I discovered you can even wash your hair with a bar of soap if you need to. Uh, and where I was traveling and what I was doing, I needed to travel light. Anyway, um, so I've actually given loads and loads and loads of advice over the years. It's all on my website, it's in books and all that kind of thing on spas, massage, healing, all those kind of things. Um, but I wanted to share with you today what I've been doing this year um, and it's really amazing how much of a top professional spa experience you can get at home and that's something I really needed this year. Having said that it's June and so a lot of spas are now open so I do recommend if you if you want to please go and explore, talk to spa owners uh, go out and enjoy those amazing spaces because so many spa owners have put so much into reopening with a you know real bang you know so do go and check out what's on offer um, and there are a lot of recommendations for spas in my books and online just to remind you I am not paid <laughs> for any of this stuff um, in 13 years I've hardly got any freebies I mean can you believe it I don't really get a lot of freebies um, and if I ever do get any freebies, I'm always, I always say, you know, this has been given to me or whatever. So just so you know, I'm working for you guys. I'm independent. So last year, you know, when the pandemic hit, I didn't really do a lot of spa stuff. Um, what I did do is I did buy in my retro shop eventually a quite lovely spa shower gel. Um, which wasn't this one, but was a rose one, Faith in Nature rose brand. Very nice really nice um, and I was quite taken with that and it really did give me a boost last year uh, through the summer and that was quite nice. This is also quite nice seaweed and citrus and I've got that going on. Um, Waitrose often you get discounts, um, they cite in Holland and Barrett as well get discounts. This is usually five or six pounds and you can get it for about three or four. Very nice and um, for me, that was that was really, really useful at the time because I, I just didn't have the wherewithal to think about anything more than buying some soap or shower gel in my weekly shop. I was very burnt out last year and, and like most people, just, just trying to sort of cope. The big problem I find is that I am very sensitive, uh, my lungs and also my skin. Um, and that seems to, I'm always sensitive in terms of what I breathe in. And also, uh, through the pandemic, I've got a lot of like skin reactions to things I don't normally get. So I've had to start being more careful about what I use. And the problem is I got a couple of Faith in Nature ones, like the coconut one and something else that really made me cough. Just to say, that doesn't mean to say there's anything wrong with it. Um, I just react to certain things and I react to certain essential oils. So just because something's good and natural and whatever, doesn't mean to say it's necessarily gonna work for me or for you. I'm the same with strawberries. I love strawberries, I love the smell of them. Uh, but if I have more than about two or three, I will sneeze for half an hour, which other people find very amusing. I don't find it very amusing. I do not like it. Um, and to be honest, having something that makes you cough at the moment is really unpleasant because of course, you know, you have a shower, you start coughing and then it's like, have I got COVID? You know, it's a really unpleasant feeling. So I pass those on. The good thing was, I passed those on to my sister when she had COVID and she really loved them. So, um, you know, it, it, I find the thing is if you don't spend too much on stuff, then if you have to like share it and pass it on, you don't feel bad. And if you buy a good quality thing, okay, maybe it doesn't work for you, but you can always move it on. So that's quite a nice one. Um, I'm holding on to that, but I kind of, I think I've had my faith in nature moment. Sorry, um, very nice. And thank you very much for that lovely rose one. Rose one's really nice, um, but I've kind of gone off it now, so. But I use that one around because sometimes I do like it as a hit of citrus. Um, sometimes, especially if I'm a bit sleepy in the morning, it's like, okay, let, wake, wake me up. Ooh, that's good. So that's that one. 
oh, what's next? I've got some really, really yummy things. It's very, very good. Um, what I've also got, just so you know, if you want to do home sparring, make sure you stay well hydrated. And this, you know what, that's what's really good is when you do home spa things, you can buy really amazing stuff that will cost you like so much if you if you were having it in a spa. And that's a pucker, pucker love tea. Pucker's a great brand, they do lots of really nice things. And having really good herbal teas around the house is just such a good economy at the moment. You know, it's um, when we're dealing with stress, all those kind of things, sleeplessness, all those things. Herbal tea is just oh, fantastic medicine. And really, if you think about a sachet of that, it's probably about 20p, something like that, every time you use it. So you can buy the most, you know, puckers, not cheap, but it's not that expensive. And, you know, one of those cups of tea is going to cost you 20 to 50p, something like that. Very good bargain. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking where I go with this. All right, let's get into the really good stuff, shall we? Actually, I need a friend for the, the really posh spa stuff. So I'll bring a friend in. Okay, so so now we have a little bit of help uh, with the with the sponsor. So what happened for me was that he, things got really bad uh, December January, and in December I had like terrible terrible migraine, um, and then in January I thought for a friend of mine, you know, we were talking about what we would do for her birthday, and of course in January here we couldn't really do nothing. So what I did is I thought, okay, I'm going to go online. I know all the top spa brands. I'm going to go and buy her an amazing birthday, like home spa kit. Uh, and I went on and I found this amazing, like tester range. And that was Illa, I-L-A. Fantastic brand, I found, really go and look them up, amazing. Um, and But what I also realized when I was looking around at the other top spa brands, like Aromatherapy Associates, uh, Espa, Temple Spa, Elemis, they were all offering massive discounts. Uh, and a lot of that was about Brexit. So because they couldn't ship to Europe anymore, they were all doing fantastic discounts for the UK. So obviously not good for them as a business, but very good for the consumer and, and also good to kind of keep them going. And we're very, very lucky in the UK because we've got some amazing spa brands, really amazing. Uh, and a lot of them you can get in high street shops and I'll talk about that a little bit more with my top brand that I'm talking about today. So anyway, I did this lovely present for my friend and then I looked at all these spa brands and I thought, hmm, I could really use some of that, that would be nice. And then what I did was I, I started thinking about these migraines I was having and I thought, you know what, um, if I have a really bad one and I had such a bad one in December and a really bad one in January as well, and I was like, you know, this knocks me out for a day, sometimes two days or three days. So if I can get some massage stuff, some, some you know, spa stuff that I can use at home that stops me having a full-on migraine, I'm quids in because that's saving me, you know, all that time and everything. And I'm glad to tell you it has worked. So in June, it's six months on, um, I haven't had a, a really bad migraine since January. Um, so I still get them, but they're much more down the scale. You know, I think I think I, my peak has been about a six, you know, six out of ten. Whereas, you know, December and January, I don't want to think about it. It was bad. It was bad. So that's the other thing as well. If you suffer from insomnia, if you suffer from migraines, if you suffer from even skin problems, dermatitis, um, or even respiratory stuff like asthma, things like that. It's really good to explore how this sort of these these amazing products can actually help you um, and really just improve your day to day life. So and give you a pick me up if you're suffering from, you know, just feeling rubbish, like a bit depressed or sad or grieving, whatever. Spas have been around for thousands and thousands of years. And the biggest part of spas I found in my experience is not the brand stuff. It's not the brand stuff at all. It's touch. You know, it's it's the touch. But of course, we are kind of restricted um, or at the moment might find it difficult to get back out and, and to go and have a massage. We might be finding difficulty with that for all kinds of reasons. Also financial, which I'm going to talk about more as well. I'm going to give you some discounts and, and show you how to get a little bit, you know, uh, good deals. So, for example, this one. Again, Waitrose sale. Tees, Waitrose sale. Um, supermarket sales. You can actually buy this 
from the manufacturer. Um, definitely, if you're keen on it, go and check out the website because they do a lot of sales as well. All right. Get on mailing lists, okay? But I'll talk about that more as well. Get on mailing lists and you often get special offers sent direct to you. Okay. So, um, what's next, what's next? Okay, let's go on to the good ones. So, um, one of the things I wanted in January was I decided I wanted candles, okay? I am not a candle person. I don't buy smelly candles. But what was really annoying me is because I was inside so much, um, obviously household stinks build up, you know, your kitchen, that kind of thing. I like to cook with a lot of garlic. Anyway, so I had some candles around and I was using them, but then they made me cough. I didn't like it. So I thought, let me get the posh stuff, let me get the posh stuff. And so this is what I wanted. And the brand that called to me was not any of the others. They're all great. Neon's also a really good one. Aromatherapy Associates. Now they, these, these brands are used in the top spas in the world. You don't get anything better unless they make it in the spa or unless you go to like, I mean, I don't know anywhere that does better stuff, honestly. I've been everywhere, been everywhere. Um, this one is an inner strength candle. Now this is about 43 pounds, okay? I'm not the kind of person that wants to spend £43 on a candle. And I certainly wasn't in January when I was feeling very tight with things. But what happened was January was a great time for offers and deals. Now, Aromatherapy Associates and, and some other spa brands as well are very good at offering you a freebie if you spend a certain amount. So if you spend £50, you get a free shower gel. If you spend £60 or £70, you get a free candle. Okay, so I thought, well, you know what? I'm not gonna spend £43 on the candle. I'm gonna buy stuff, other stuff, and then I get it for free, and then I feel better about it. Now, which I did. So that's inner strength. It's a beautiful smell. It's a beautiful smell. It's really nice. Um, I do find though, if I burn it for a long time indoors, it can make me cough, okay? So I've got a very tiny little bit of intolerance to this one, which is why it's still around in June. <laughs> Had this one in January, it's, it's about half used, okay? So I like it, it's really nice. And it's something, what I quite like about it is it's in the kitchen, so often I'll come home and I can smell it when I walk in the door, just because it's been warm. Um, in the room so I quite like that one and it's that's you know that's six months so I've had it and it was free ish free ish okay so let me put that down there so I don't go back on it but what I actually bought in January for to spend the money to get that okay was this is one of my favorites okay and you know when you first start buying these things it's so nice to get something that's beautifully packaged and it's got all these nice things written on it and this is their moment of recovery box now i think this might have been a christmas gift okay um it's uh it was available on boots as well and this was 33 pounds i think i'm not sure if that was the original price so you get oh it's lovely you get this um which is the muscle gel de-stress muscle gel now i've used this before and it's a fantastic product. It's really nice. It's not the best balm in the world. It's a, a gel, you know, um, and it's cooling. It's relaxing. It's rosemary, black pepper, lavender, and ginger. And it's fantastic if you do fitness. It's fantastic if you get lower back pain because it goes on sore and tired muscles and it just goes mm, and it cools them down and it makes it really, really good. And I use this, I've used this before, I use it all the time, and every time I actually go and use it, I'm still impressed with how quickly it it alleviates any pain in muscles. It's it's fantastic and it's not it's not like heavy duty, it smells lovely. And I love the fact that <laughs> whenever I use this, if I've been overdoing it, I use it and I'll go and see my family and they'll go, Oh, you smell nice. You smell so it's not like a liniment smell or a you know, chemicals, it's absolutely delicious. So that's mm, 150 mils, um, and I probably, I don't know, maybe got about 50 mils left in that, so I'm not used too much of it. And that's about, if you buy that on its own, it's about 28 pounds. 
Um, so to get that in a box set for about 33, it was really good. And I talk, and I also got discounted because I got, um, I think I got a newbie discount or they had one of those, if you spend this much, you get 20% off or whatever. So actually buying this in a, in a, in a block was um, saving loads of money. The other thing is with this kind of thing, you can of course get it in boots if they still got it in stock. So, and it's really good to do it in January because you get all these Christmas present box sets that they put on, dis they, they put on sale and discount. Um, and of course, if you're buying stuff on boots, you get your boots points. And then also you can use those to buy more spa things. I also love this. You open this up and it says, open after workouts on demanding days. And then when you get in here, it says, your body will thank you. Yes, it's very nice. It makes me go into spa mode. Very nice. So, and then what you also get with this one, now, it's gone there, I've used that up. That was a little glass bottle of um, the uh, recovery, de-stress um, shower gel. It's, no, it's the muscle shower gel. I'll go into that a bit more. That was the muscle um, one. So it's a little glass bottle with a little glass, little gold top. And that was, um, it's very small. And I think it's about, about 10 mils. And it's about, usually about 11 pounds or something, which, yeah, it's quite expensive. And that really is, is good. They say it's good for about three showers or baths, you know, and that's, pr that's really strong stuff. I love it, you know, and I would, when I got that, I would come down, I would have like a good long hour, you know, get all the muscles, everything. Um, I, I think I've got more than three out of it. And I'm going to give you a tip for how to use the bottle afterwards. I'm going to talk more about those bottles afterwards. Okay. And then this, which I love, you can actually get this. I think you can buy this on Aromatherapy Associates. And you might even be able to get it on Boots um, on its own now. But at the time, it was only available in this box set. And what it is, is a, a salt ball. So it's a, and that started off quite big. Again, they say it should only last for three. I've probably used that for about 20 and I've still got a little bit left. And it's just a, a, a sphere of, it's very hard salt and you use it to, to go on your muscles and things like that. It's a fantastic, it really gets deep in there. Um, I love this a bit too much. <laughs> the problem is because it's salt, it scratches. So sometimes when I use it on very tight shoulders, really get in there. And then I'd find I'd scratch my skin quite badly. So I have to be a bit careful with that one. Um, and I love it. It's also very, very good for your legs. You know, if, we, if you're trying to get a massage and it really gets into those deep muscles, deep into those muscles very, very quickly. So that's, I really like, uh, but um, I have to be careful with it because sometimes I can overdo it. And again, if you're doing a home massage, it's the same as a professional massage in that it will be a detox. So again, keep drinking your tea because once you've done a massage and you've flushed out those toxins um, from the muscles, you need to flush them out of your bloodstream. Okay, so lots of water, it's really good. All right, next one. So I didn't just get that in January. I also got this, this is lovely. And this is a, a sleep, it was a sleep kit. I actually got a couple of these and one for a friend as well. And, you know, if you want to get the freebies, don't be afraid to speak to, you can speak to your friends and family uh, to see if they want to buy stuff too. Because if you buy it together, you get a bigger discount, you get more freebies um, and you can definitely negotiate with your friends. So, uh, but I knew that she'd been having trouble sleeping. Um, so I got one of these for me and one of these for my sister. And what this had in it was, actually I might forget some stuff as well, um, my favourite. Now this is what happened was, so this came with a very small candle, which was a relaxed candle. That's the name of the, 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 the type, um, the flavour, if you like. And as soon as I lit that relaxed candle, I was like, oh, I, went, oh. I literally just went, oh, for like two hours. Um, and I thought, oh yes, I'd, I'd really need to relax. And that was just the best thing for sleeping in January. And, it, and I'd had problems sleeping and I started lighting that candle and 
if I let that for half an hour before bed, I was just sleeping all the way through the night, you know, and I wake up and then I just go straight back to sleep. That was fantastic. So that really kind of saved my life. January. And unfortunately it made me in the strength candle, was like, yeah, push to the side. This one, now they actually have two flavours, if you like. There's relax and then there's deep relax. And this is the deep relax, <clears throat> excuse me, sleep mist. Now I'm, I'm using that at the moment, you can see it's about half full. Um, this one is nice for summer. I like this for summer because um, I've got the windows open and I can spray it on around the, the bed and then it gives me a nice sort of boost. And also it's nice if there's been things like bonfires or barbecues to sort of get rid of that smell. Um, I found it too much in the winter, like with the windows closed and the heating on. And that's when I really like the candles because you kind of keep all that smell in. Whereas I think it's a bit of a waste to, to burn fantastic candles when you've got all the windows open. So I, I really went mad for that relaxed one, I really did. And um, I actually went and bought another great big one uh, from Boots and I got the points on Boots because I just <laughs> really found I couldn't sleep without it. So it was it was one of those things I went, yes, well, I know it's really expensive, but I'll get points. <laughs> And it's also something that um, really helps me to sleep. Like, and you, you know, you can't put price on good sleep, really. And then this little thing came as well, which is the um, Deep Relax Sleep Well Body Butter, which is really nice. This is a lovely thing. You can put it on your, um, you can you can sort of massage it onto yourself before you want to go to sleep. I find that's a bit too much for me, and so I just use it on my pulse points. You know, use it, put it up here, put it here. So just get a waft of it and that's enough. Another way I use this, which is really good, is if I wake up in the morning and I'm really like um, bent out of shape, I will use that first thing, particularly say on a Sunday, if I've got a long morning, put that on first thing and then kind of have my tea, relax, maybe have a read. <clears throat> and then I'll come down and have a shower. You can see other products, uh, but, I've already kind of like started that whole relaxation thing. That's not how it's recommended to use, but it works really well. Um, I really like that one. And of course, I've got a fancy bag. And I think <laughs> they don't sell the bags enough, you know, because to be honest, you get a bag like that and you could spend 10, 20 quid. And I think this whole thing was about, it was again about 30 pounds, something like that was discounted. So, you know, you really get a lot in there when you when you sort of mix and match okay so one thing i'll just t tell you this thing that i do that is really good if you've got the little glass bottles of the really powerful um shower and bath gel. actually this came with a little thing of i think it was the deep relax shower and bath oil i didn't like that as much i found it was a little bit irritating so what i started doing um was to actually just use the sh that really powerful shower gel on my neck and shoulders <laughs> um, and then use a cheaper um, bath body, lighter bath body wash for the rest of my body. So I was getting a really good massage neck and shoulders, you know, but that stuff was a little bit tough on certain areas of my body where I've had um, skin problems in the last year. So you can mix and match those things. Here's a really good tip. So that little glass bottle, when you use it, you've obviously got a little bit of oil left inside. So what I was doing was, my, one of my favorite products, virgin olive oil. It's not even, actually it's not even virgin olive oil. It's refined olive oils and virgin olive oils, okay? And I poured that into the little glass bottle when it was empty to just kind of get the, um, get the rest of the goodness out of the bottle. And I found I could do that two or three times and when then then use that olive oil to do the same, you know, like a nice relaxing shoulder rub before I have my shower or in the shower. Then I fell out of love with the little glass bottles because the problem is, of course, if you're in the shower, then, and I did this, drop the glass bottle, <laughs> shattered everywhere, and for about a week, I was picking up bits of glass from the bathroom floor because it's a wet room and it's a stone floor. 
So, of course, it's very, very hard to find glass on a wet floor. And uh, so I went right off the glass bottles <laughs> and I decided I wasn't going to get any more aromatherapy associate stuff that came in glass bottles. So luckily, then they brought out a new product. Um, and again, I'm not biased against other spa brands. It's just that there's two things. One is that I just started, I just, I just felt drawn to aromatherapy associates, okay? And sometimes, uh, you know, one particular brand comes out with, you know, stuff that just works for you for a while. And then you can switch, you know, depending on, even between, say, spring and summer. Yeah, so something has lighter flavours, something has darker flavours and you like to switch around. The other big thing is, of course, I'm, I've been buying all this stuff online and I can't go and give it a sniff. <laughs> I have to just kind of wing it. And if I'm buying really expensive stuff, I don't want to buy stuff that then um, goes to waste. You know, like I said about the, uh, the other stuff, the Faith in Nature stuff, I had to kind of give it away. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money on something that I, I didn't like. And two things to, to be aware of is that sometimes the, especially Aromatherapy Associates brings out two flavours like Relax and Deep Relax. And you might really love Relax, but not the Deep Relax. <laughs> I know, am I making it complicated or are they making it complicated? I'm not sure. But the other thing is, it's really important to remember, um, say like with this one, so you have a lot of different things in there. So the, the spray, um, the body balm, the butter, uh, candle, something like that. You can really like the product, the flavour in in one sorry in one product. So you could really love the candle, but not the body wash, or you could really love the the body the body balm, but not the other way around. Um, and it's it's difficult because we don't want to you know I don't you know, I don't want to waste money at the moment because I don't have a lot to my to waste. So I'm kind of picky, and I want to kind of make sure I choose stuff that works for me. So, Aromatherapy Associates came out with a new product, which was this one. Okay, now what I love about this, plastic bottle, shower oil. This started winning all the awards because it is an oil, what is it? Rich oil to milk body cleanser. Ooh. Okay, still spenny, but it's not like the little tiny ones um, that really, really is ready. Okay. So this was, this is a um, really nice one. Again, it's in boots as well. And, um, I really wanted to try this. I like the, I wanted to try it, but what they had a lot of it was, this is the muscle one. And I was like, yeah, I love that, that I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to love this product. The problem is I want to, I want to get good value, right? So when they brought it out, they had a thing, which was, um, they're going to offer two and you get a big discount. But I didn't want to get two of the same one. I was curious about the other ones. I didn't want to buy stuff that I hadn't tried because I didn't want to be left with a big bottle or something that I didn't like. Okay, so luckily, as I was looking around for another birthday present for a friend, they brought out a box, box set, really, which was a lovely wash bag filled with four shower gels. So I got them. Now, uh, so, and these are the shower gels. I'm, look, I'm so, I'm, I get a bit prissy. And uh, as you can see, they have to go in the colour order. They have to go in the colour order. It makes the bathroom look nice. So we have, and then you can see very clearly which ones you enjoy. So clearly, I'm very into Revive. Okay. Now, when I went to buy this particular product, I, of course, I was shopping around. Now, you can look on Boots, you can look on the Aromatherapy Associates website. Most of the time it's cheaper on the, the main website that, you know. And what they do is they offer you discounts of, if you spend this much, you get 20% off, you get 25% off. Um, also, you get those freebie products as well. If you join the mailing list, you also often get a welcome, um, code so you can get 10 15 20 percent off very often that only lasts for a certain amount of time and as i say they're often coming out with other deals other offers so it's probably worth going on the mailing list even if you're not sure if you're going to buy something if you know you want to buy stuff <laughs> it's possibly worth waiting until you've decided what you're going to get 
and then join the mailing list so the code works for you. Um, as I say, very often they have a better code on the website um, because they have a summer sale or a, uh, this sale or that sale, whatever. Often you'll get mailing list um, updates when they're having a weekend where there's no delivery charge, which is really useful if you just want to buy one small thing, okay? Um, I tend to go, I tend if I'm going to buy one small thing to just get it from Boots, if they've got it in stock, because then I get the points. Mm. Aromatherapy Associates have also just launched a loyalty system. So if you buy stuff from them, you get loyalty points. It's still very new. It's only been running a few months. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. OK, it's still I haven't really trialed it. Uh, anyway, so this is lovely. Also, the bag it came in was really nice. I use it for my headphones. And I was thinking, you know, I could have spent 20 quid easy on, on that bag, you know, just the bag to put my headphones in. So I think this is a bargain. So I think this this set is about forty pounds normally, and but what I did is I used a discount code, got this one because I knew I was going to like it, and a present for somebody else, and so then it really came down to about thirty pounds, I think, or twenty pounds, something like that. Big discount. I think it was about ten pounds off of that. So uh, what you have here is the revive. I spent ages because I was looking for, I knew I wanted something like spa-y, eucalyptus-y uh, and they have um, breathe products, they're called like support breath, whatever. This is lovely because it's got that eucalyptus in it and you can see how much I like it. <laughs> but again, what I'm doing with these is I'm using them to give my neck and shoulders a massage in the morning and then I use a cheaper shower oil for the rest of my body okay because it's lighter um, and I'll show you what I use for that, that in a minute. Uh, the muscle one again I'm holding on to that one it's my favorite but obviously I'm using this one because I'm hoping one day I'll get to go away and I might use that with me my little travel kit okay de-stress this is fantastic this is a really good one for things get a bit overwhelming it's a mind body de-stress one and it just is fantastic this one, now this one's quite interesting because it's a rose one and I'm not a keen on the smell a bit like me, okay, but I've got it now and it's in the it's in the pack so I haven't lost a lot of money, maybe I'll give it away. Thought, give it a go in the shower, went in the shower, gave it a go, thought mm, not, not keen on this, got out of the shower, went about my day and all day long <laughs> I'm going, what's that lovely smell? Oh, what a lovely smell. It's me. <laughs> because it's a really strong rose shower oil. And it's not light and fluffy. It kind of smells sort of dark and kind of rich and all that kind of thing. And it's a bit, it's a bit heavy and a bit much. But then it stays on your body, stays on my body. Um, and of course, all of these products work differently on different skin. So what works for me might not work for you. But I love that, <laughs> especially if I'm going to have a long day doing something. Say, if I was going to um, uh, do an event or something, or, or travel even, that would be quite a nice one to use because that lovely smell would stay with me through the day. So, speaking of smell and how we use these, basically what you do when you're going to use this, what I do is, and this is what they recommend, is pour like just a little palm full there in there, Get your hands together, rub it together, heat up the oil, and then just breathe in again. One more. And that's exactly what you do if you're going to have a massage in a, a big, you know, proper professional spa. Then, of course, take that, do the neck, do the back, whatever you want, it's up to you. Then what I do is I switch in um, another range of products, which is Dr. Organic, Holland Barra. Um, I've got, this is, this is a favorite. Um, I've been using this for years and that's love. That's a really lovely one. It's the Manuka Honey Body Wash. And I tried this one, which is the uh, Moroccan Argan Oil, which is very nice. Um, I'm not, I wasn't sure about this one to start with, but it actually, what I like about it is it works really well with these ones. 
because it's kind of got that sort of heavy, um, uh, it's kind of like, oh, it's got an African, Moroccan feel, you know, and it's kind of like proper spa gear. <laughs> it's really good. Uh, what's quite interesting is when I look at the ingredients of these and a lot of the Dr. Organic stuff is the, the main the main ingredient is aloe vera juice. Okay, so my skin obviously really likes the aloe vera and uh, it, it just works really well. So these, again, just to help you get them cheaper, cheaper, cheaper. These are normally about six or seven pounds in Holland and Barrett. What I tend to do is I wait till I've got a sale, which is either the penny sale um, or the buy one, get one half price. These are usually only available on buy one, get one half price. Um, and then also again, Holland and Barrett, you often get 20% off weekends. Uh, again, if you're spending a certain amount, get 20% off, da, da 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 free delivery, everything else. So normally when I buy this kind of thing, it comes down to about three or four pounds for a bottle when you get them together. I particularly like those. Again, that's kind of a heavy and rich one. This is very sweet, very, very sweet. If you need a bit of sweetening up, a bit of honey with your coffee in the morning, that's a lovely one. Uh, and as I say, I switch between that one and the Faith in Nature. So when I come down to have my shower in the morning, uh, where I used to just have a bar of soap that won't be with me, I now come down and I have a choice of seven shower gels. <laughs> and, I have, and I would usually use two different shower gels <laughs> because I'm just trying to make the most of my shower time and, and relax and, and, and really do what's right for me and what makes me feel good. Um, just, just to make you feel like, then this is what I do with my hair, ATP, <laughs> ATP, uh, two in one shampoo and conditioner, which is really, I'm really enjoying it at the moment because it's summer. I wash my hair a lot. That's just really light and, and it works pretty well. Another really, really cheap one you can get, and I love this, is this was my, I've had this, I've had this for a year now actually. I bought this from Boots. And it's, I think it's about two, three pounds if you can get hold of it. It's, it does sell out unfortunately a lot. A sanctuary salt scrub. And now this is, um, again, one that's stayed on your body a long time. It's an amazing thing. This is top quality. It's um, as good as pretty much any salt scrub you'll get around the world. I say two, about two or three pounds. And that's my, that's been my break glass in case of emergency. So I had this for about a year. Uh, and I think it was kind of thing of like, if it gets too bad, I can go and like have a home spa moment. The thing about this is, and it's very interesting if you look at sort of the pricing of, of different things, obviously this is, you know, very expensive. This is £26 for, for this, okay. You will usually get 20% off if you buy two on Aromatherapy Associates, okay. Obviously, when you're buying it, you also can get the 20% off uh, if you're mixing other products and you also often get the freebies. You get like a massive big candle, uh, which is £43 of worth of candle if you're spending, say, £60, £70, which is not bad. Um, so I think in general, one of my shops I managed, I added it up and I think I got, you know, three times the amount of stuff for, what, for the amount I paid. So I think I spent £50 and got... £150 worth of stuff, something like that. It's pretty good if you can work it well. Um, but looking at the price of this, one of the things that's really good for me to point out to you guys is this is great as a trial. This is really good as a trial. Also good for salt scrubs to get the individual sachets because they do sort of dry out if you've got a big pot. But if you compare the price of it, you know, that's two or three pounds for you know, a very small amount. So if you were to buy, you know, the, the difference in price between saying one of, buying one of these and buying one of these is is kind of big. But again, it's how you feel, how confident you feel about buying a particular product, whether you want like a tester or whether you want to go go nuts. Um, and it's really it's it's been a really difficult time, I think, for beauty and spa products, things like that, because some big brands, particularly like Clarins, have changed their main products in the middle of the pandemic. I know that's probably something that was going on behind the scenes before, but it's made it really, really difficult for consumers because 
they have to buy a full size product without knowing if it's going to suit their skin type. Okay, so you know it's it's really difficult. It's really really difficult for people to say, you know what, I want to buy my, you know, what I had before. It's not there. Shall I buy the new one? And people have got very frustrated with buying stuff that then reacts badly, you know, that, that gives them that they can't stand the smell of or, or whatever. So I'm very, very happy with my experiences in spa. There are a couple of things that haven't worked particularly well for me. Um, but I think a lot of that is also about me just being really, really sensitive and my skin being really sensitive um, and, and my lungs being really sensitive and just needing different products on different days. And you know, I come down here and some mornings I'm like, yes, muscle gel. Sometimes I'm, no, I need a light lemon one or, and it's just like, you know, it's really just like food. Um, what we put on our skin is absorbed. You know, we breathe it in, it goes on our skin. It's absorbed. So it's really important that you get the right one for you, just the same as with food. And the same thing, especially with candles. Um, <laughs> it's interesting when I started looking around at candles and things, you know, people, there's so much stuff that people have bought me in the, over the years, you know, like these diffuser ones and they go, oh, you like spas, let me buy you a candle, let me buy you and you're like, I'm like oh, so not ever, I don't, this is never coming out of the box, it's never coming out of the box because it's full of all kinds of rubbish. So I would say actually, oh, there's all these amazing products and they're lovely and again you know this is a really good i think if you're buying 80p shower gel this feels expensive because it's you know seven or eight six or seven pounds i get it for about half of that you know when i when i factor stuff in it feels a lot when you're really you know looking at your groceries and you're looking at your your you know what you're buying um you know when you're when you're thinking about the cost of your bread it seems like a lot of money um, but this one is I've never had any problem with anything in their range. I don't touch wood when I say that. And for me, that's a great economy because it means I'm not having to give it away to somebody. I'm not, um, it's not making me feel worse, which is a really big deal actually when it comes to you know food and spa products and things like that. We want stuff that makes us feel better and not worse. Very big deal. And when you think about also the respiratory challenges that we have, the stress challenges we have, the um, emotional challenges that we have, you know, self-care has never really been as appreciated as much as it is at the moment, okay? And I guess I'm really glad I did all this for me, you know, I didn't buy this so I could talk about spas. What, back when I was studying and I was going to massage spas and buying all this stuff, sometimes I did it because I just wanted to to try it and talk about the products and I wanted to review them and that kind of thing. And this year has been none of that. It's really been about, okay, what can I get that's gonna stop me having migraines, that's gonna help me sleep, um, that's gonna make my skin feel nice when I finished. And I'm really happy with all of this, okay? So most importantly, if you're gonna do spa stuff, go with your gut, okay? It's very personal, it's very, very personal. So, so if you go online and you're looking at different things and you've got your special offers, and oh my goodness, it is overwhelming at times, these special offers, you know, like your Boots points and your, your Roma Therapy Associates and the loyalty card and the thing, you know, but it's a bit like the coffee, it's a bit like coffee. You know, you kind of know which flavors you like, what works for you. Um, and, it can be overwhelming with the free gifts, you know, but with the best will in the world, okay, and I say this, I think these are amazing spa brands, they have a fantastic ethos. Um, Illa, I-L-A, is, you know, if you go and check out their spa brand, it's so fantastic, you know, the, the way they um, source products, they source, you know, source, whatever you call them, ingredients, things like that, fantastic. My biggest problem with them is every time I liked a product on their website, it was sold out. So I would go and go, oh, I like this one, I like that. Sold out. I like this one, I like that. Sold out. I was like, okay, I'm just not, you know, I want a website that shows me which ones I'm allowed to have because it's wasting my time. Anyway, but the, with the best will in the world, their websites are there to get you to buy products. Okay. So when you hear me and when you listen to me and I talk about spending 70 pounds, 
to get the candle or to get the 25% off, you still have to be smart, okay? Do not buy something in a sale if you if it's not in your gut, okay? If you don't think, yes, this is the right one for me, this, or, or I really wanna try this, okay? Even if you get it, it doesn't work for you, maybe it's not the right time, maybe you can give it to a friend, um, all kinds of things, all kinds of things. But don't be manipulated by the freebies. Because <laughs> I had this when I was buying these and I I went on and they had this uh, body brush, you know, this little body brush thing. Um, and I've done that before, I've done the body brushing and I'm like, yeah, I don't really like it. They, and I don't really want to do stuff at the moment that's necessarily like invigorating. You know, I want relax, I want relaxing, I don't want to be great. Um, I've got my lemon shower gel for that. So when I went on and it was like, oh, you spend this much, you get that, da, 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 da. And I went through and I was like, and I was like, I don't really want it, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, if I get it, I can give it as a present and I can do this and I can do that. And I went through and I thought, no, you know what? Just get what you really want, get the 20% off. Don't worry if you're not getting the 25% off. Don't need to spend another £10 to get that because it's not really what you want. It's not really what you want. So, um, yeah, and it is confusing sometimes because sometimes it's like, if you spend this much, you get this discount and then you get this freebie. But then if you put that code in, you don't get the freebie. And sometimes it's just a problem with the website. So don't be <laughs> swayed too much by the sales. My best tip is, get on the mailing list, watch the sales, because you'll get one every week, you'll get like, oh, special offer this, special offer that, special offer this. Great, watch it, keep an eye on it, and then press the button when it's the right thing for you, okay? Because I was so tempted to buy this, I knew I wanted it, but I was like, mm -hmm. wait, 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 wait. As soon as they came out with this, I was like, that's exactly what I want. That's what I've been waiting, I didn't know they were gonna bring it out, but, Part of me was like, mm, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Then they came out with this range and I was like, yes, that's exactly the right thing for me. It's what I want. Um, and I'm sort of like now watching for the next thing to come up. I was like, oh, if I buy this, I get this big candle. I was like, yes, that's what I want. Don't buy stuff that you don't want, <laughs> really. Even if it's like the freebie, if you wait a little bit of time, then maybe you'll come out with the one that you know that you really want. And just be careful as well about the labelling. Um, as I say, there's a big difference between relax and deep relax. Um, and here you've got your, you know, you've got your muscle one and then the de-stress one. So just be careful, make sure you double check if you want a specific thing that it's actually that one that you're buying and not a slightly different named one. Okay? <laughs> so it's been like nearly an hour about spa stuff. I hope it helps. Um, one last thing, a big issue that I had in January that I kind of touched on was spending the money, you know, <laughs> spending the money when you know that you can just go and buy an ATP shower gel. Why would you invest in something so expensive? And for me, when I thought about it and I thought about the, the migraines, that made sense to me. That really made sense to me to do, to do that investment. One of the things I've learned from 13 years of going to spas, having expensive massages and treatments, really expensive massages and treatments, is that sometimes the healing is in spending money on ourselves, you know? And it's a difficult subject to talk about because there's a lot of corruption in spirituality when we talk about money, okay? And there's a lot of corruption in beauty <laughs> and spa products and all these kind of things when we talk about money because it's a bit like, because you're worth it. It's like, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. But sometimes there is a, a healing that comes with allowing ourselves to spend money again, trusting that, that what we're doing is the right thing. And that to me has also happened with education in this last year. Seeing a course that I want to do online and investing that money because it's it's something that's important to me. And 
when you do that, it's kind of an exchange of energy and there's something very valuable about, about giving back to ourselves, I suppose, maybe you could put it that way. And I think that's a, an issue that we have when it comes to going back into real life spas and actually paying someone to give us a massage. So for example, I know that during the pandemic, a lot of us were like desperate, well, we're in the pandemic, you know, when the spas were closed, a lot of us were talking about, oh, I can't wait to have a massage, oh, I can't wait to have a massage. And then we look at the price of them and we kind of hold back. But it's important to remember how, just how beneficial a massage can be. So for example, for me, if I have uh, a migraine and it knocks me out for one, two, three days, you know, that massage is so beneficial if it prevents me having migraines or it prevents me having so much stress that I can't function. Uh, it prevents me having back pain, it prevents me having all those things. And that's kind of a logical argument. But the other thing is really just to kind of know when we wanna spend money on ourselves, you know, and we wanna, we wanna do that because there's something in that, in that exchange of energy, in that kind of um, buying something for ourselves that takes us a little bit beyond our comfort zone in terms of money and like that it's something to stick with and if money if you really feel that money is an, an object for you go into that and examine that sometimes it's just an excuse because we're scared you know we're scared of the experience we're scared of the joy we're scared of relaxing because when we relax whoo, everything can kind of feel like it's falling apart but it's so important that we dive into our joy. And uh, I always teach, when I'm teaching about fear of success, it is fear of our power and it is fear of joy. Because when we step into our joy, then we can't deny our negative emotions. So when we embrace our positive emotions, we also have the negative emotions too. And that can be scary and frightening, that we'd rather just stay a bit numb and a bit kind of bored and routine you know we stay with that when we go to a spa it can have such a powerful effect on us mind body and spirit that it's scary and so sometimes we use money as an excuse not to do it um anyway i hope this is helpful and i hope sometime soon to be bringing you a little video from an actual spa and um getting back into that i've, I've got back into my swimming i'm very happy with that and i feel like that's a spa experience Always remember that spa comes from, it's, it's believed to come from the Latin, from the Romans, which stands for, uh, I don't know what the, the, the Latin is, but it's health through water. Health, S, P, with, through, <laughs> A, aqua. Health through water. So come on, using your morning shower or bath, or evening shower and bath, to really boost you is a great use of water, great use of time, and I think it's a great use of money. Okay, see you soon, lots of love, I hope it helps, and please drop me messages and questions, because I can tell you about more spa products any day of the week. Bye.